When you mention seaweed, weird and foul smelling are the words that come to mind. But for Cape sculptor Yanku de Beer, seeing seaweed on the ocean shore jolted his imagination and inspired him to create something truly original. It's Yanku seaweed, right? Yeah. What on earth possessed you to want to take this material and use it as your medium of creating art? Well, I've been dabbling in different mediums of sculpting over the past few years, and um, I've ventured into the stone area and some bone and brick and all kinds of different things, um, including sea bamboo or seaweed. So I decided to pack my car with a trailer and venture up the west coast to collect some seaweed. Got there, uh, packed my whole car full of this beautiful um, medium and drove back to Cape Town. When I got there, I found that the ocean storms tend to wash them out on the beaches in the most intact way possible, uh, which is perfect for what I do because you want it in an intact form with the bulb and the foot and the tube and the fin and everything on top of it. You must have looked like the craziest person on the beach that day. I, I collected with a panga in my one hand and an axe in another hand and definitely frightened off a few beach covers every now and then. <laughs> Over the past 10 years, Yanko has managed to carve out his own unique style by creating fantastical creatures which are not bound by the ordinary schools of thought. Wow, excellent. Uh, welcome to my studio. So, this is where all the magic happens. Myth and magic combined. All right. <laughs> excellent. All right. yeah. So take me through the process of how it works when you are creating your art. Well, excellent. Well, first of all, I'll um, venture off to the beach and collect some dry materials um, and uh, assemble them according to a metal armature, which I clad in accordance to whatever figure, arena or mythical creature I want to make. It takes me about three to four weeks to prepare um, a certain sculpture and thereafter I'll use specific pieces and start cladding the armature, basically putting flesh to the bone, if you want to put it like that. Once I have a definition of what I want to move into, I'll start covering certain bigger holes with plasticine. Uh -huh. It's a clay wax that can never get dry. Just to basically blend in, for instance, this horn, you can blend it into the actual sculpture itself by using the plasticine. Well, I think I've got a basic understanding of how it works. So you think, uh, I think might I try it? I prepared a, an armature for you, an aqueous armature. So let's see how good you are. Oh, man, this is <laughs> very, very exciting. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. I would recommend you put on some gloves. OK. Um, it's not a job for sissies. As you can see, I've cut my hands on numerous places. Wow. OK. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think there's definitely a big difference between understanding how the process works and actually doing this. So, Yanku, where are you going with your art and where would you like to see yourself in the future? Well, I would love to see myself um, ending up in the highest echelons of art where, where one can end up, um, maybe exhibiting overseas, etc. But, um, and for now, I'm fully booked until the end of the year with an exhibition happening every month. So I'm off to the KKNK now, then Eau de Libertas, and just so many things happening. Look, after what I've seen today, I think there's definitely no doubt, and few out there will argue that the work of Yanku de Beer is definitely the epitome of originality and innovation. And I, for one, look forward to seeing his future creations. Excellent, thanks. Let's finish it off. Awesome.